Hello guys, today let's get into the topic self incompatibility. So the concept of SI was given by Carl Luther in the mid 18th century. So before getting into the topic, we must be very clear what is pollination, what is self pollination and what is cross pollination. So the pollination is a process when the pollen grains falls on the stigma of the uh, female and the male and the female gets fused together in the process of fertilization which results in the production of seed. So in case of self pollination this process that takes place in the same flower but in cross pollination it takes place in two different flowers. So the self pollination in the natural way it is hindered by a lot of mechanism of which one is this SI mechanism. Here the selfing of the pollen and the ovule takes place in many different situations which may be when the pollen grains fails to germinate on the stigma or even it gets germinated it fails to enter into the style or even it get entered into the style it grows very slowly or even it reaches the ovule uh, it will not fertilize with it properly or even if fertilization takes place the embryo is not formed and the cells get degraded so these are the situations that hinder the self pollination to take place so the facts behind the system is that nearly 30 to 50 percent of the flowering plant species that exist in the world are bisexual in nature. What is bisexual is that when the male and the female are produced in the same flower and this is a situation which has a high possibility of self pollination. But due to the presence of this SI system in these flowering plant species it enhances cross pollination to take place as a result it increases the genetic diversity among the flowering plant species so it is considered as one of the causes for the spread and success of angiosperms on the earth so the concept of this uh, SI is classified by Lewis in 1954 into two different systems one is heteromorphic system that is different in morphology homomorphic system similar in morphology uh, this homomorphic is further into two types one is gametophytic based on the genotype of the gamete sporophytic based on the genotype of the plant on which it is produced in heteromorphic system, the incompatibility is mainly due to the difference in morphology that results in this SI system. So, example is diastyle in Primula and diastyle in Omnitra. Diastyle in the case, the style is in two different morphology, one is long style and short style, whereas tristyle in the sense, it is long, medium and short. So, in this we would could see an example diastyle in primula in t type so it is of two different morphology namely pin with a long style and thrum with short style so when pin and pin or thrum into thrum are mated that results in an incompatible reaction so when pin and thrum and thrum and pin are fused together it results in one as to one ratio so we all would know that this is governed by S genes. So this is a heteromorphic sporophytic system. So as we all know heterophytic has difference in morphology. Sporophytic means genotype of the plant on which it is produced. So let's see this diagram. The pin has a long style and thumb has a short style. And the genotype is smaller, smaller in case of pin and in thrum it is capital S, smallest. So here the incompatibility of the genotype of the pollen will be smallest in case of pin and in case of thrum it will be capital S and smallest. So the incompatibility reaction in the style would be smallest in case of pin and in case of thrum it would be capital S because capital S is dominant over the smallest. So this is the case where the genotype is determined by the plant on which it is produced. So this is a reason when the 
pin and drum of crossed it results in 1 is to 1 ratio so this kind of similar systems could be seen in buckwheat and sweet potato so next is homomorphic system here the incompatibility reaction is not associated with the morphology so the avoidance of selfing mainly takes place by the biochemical or genetic mechanism so when the genotype of sporophyte determines this reaction it is called as sporophytic control when genotype of the male gamete or pollen uh, results in this reaction it is called as gametophytic control so of this it is of gametophytic system and sporophytic system so in case of sporophytic system the reaction between the pollen tube and the style is determined by the genotype of the plant on which it is produced is called as sporophyte and it is a diploid tissue but in case of gametophytic system it is determined by the genotype of the pollen so it is a gamete so the product that are synthesis before the completion of meiosis and here the products are synthesized after the completion of meiosis as products are synthesized early uh, the pollen tube is arrested at the surface of the stigma so as this here the products are synthesized after the completion of meiosis the growth of the tube is arrested in the style next sporophytic system and we have to get what happens or the what biochemical mechanism that takes place inside the system so the stigma is papillate and dry in case of sporophytic system so it contains a pellicle layer after few minutes of reaching of the stigmatic surface the pollen releases an enzyme exuvate which is either a protein or glycoprotein in nature this exuvate induces immediately the callus formation in the incompatible stigma so as a result the uh, self pollination is hindered resulting in this sporophytic system so this is seen majorly in the mustard family of brassicaceae sporophytic system here all the pollen produced by an s1 s2 plant so the genotype of the pollen is based on the parent on which it is produced so here in the case one the s1 s2 and s1 s2 that is the genotype of the pollen and the genotype of the pistil are similar to each other so the reaction of compatibility does not take place while in case of s2 while in case 2 that is the s1 s2 and s1 s3 here either one of the allele is similar in both the genotypes so it also results in a completely incompatible process so in case of 3 the alleles of their genotype of the gamete and the genotype of the pistil are entirely opposite this results in a completely compatible reaction. So the regulation as well as rejection reaction for the pollen tube growth takes place on the stigma and the rejection of the self pollen is controlled by the diploid genotype of the sporophyte generation. So here in case 1 case 2 it is very clear that if we should consider the uh, diploid genotype like S1, S2, S1, S3 in order to determine the compatibility between the pollen and the pistol. So as in case of sporophyte there are two possibilities one is completely incompatible and completely compatible. Gametophytic system here all the pollen grains are produced from S1, S2 plant so in case of one we should we should consider the genotype of the pollen individually see in case one that is s1 s1 s2 s2 both are alike so it results in incompatibility in case two s1 s1 s2 s3 here s2 and s3 are opposite so partial compatible reaction takes place in third case s1 s2 s3 s4 both are completely opposite so it is fully compatible so recognition as well as rejection reaction occurs inside the pistil the rejection is controlled by the haploid genotype of the pollen so as a result in the gametophytic system there are three possibilities one is 
completely incompatible, partially compatible and completely compatible. So these are the reasons that uh, helps the self-pollination plant to get into cross-pollination and maintain their genetic diversity. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.